guys. So lovely to have you again for our bedtime story tonight. How have you been? Are you enjoying the glorious, glorious sunshine that we've been having the last few days? We've been really excited because this glorious weather has actually seemed to have awoken some of our wonderful fruit plants and trees in the garden. So we're seeing first blossoms which bring us hope of a wonderful harvest in the summer. And already my children are discussing how to divide such a harvest because they both are very keen on picking fruit and having it just as soon as they can. And that reminded me of a gorgeous story of how to, well, shall we say, protect fruit from potential predators because we must be vigilant, mustn't we? Now, have you got your favourite cuddly? Great. Then let's go. For tonight's story, I've chosen us the little mouse, the red ripe strawberry, and the big hungry bear. Written by Don and Audrey Wood and illustrated by Don Wood. Oh, hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Uh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? Mmm. But, little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, yes. How that bear loves red mm, ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away, especially one that has just been picked. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet. And sniff, 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 find the strawberry. No matter where it is hidden or who is guarding it. Or indeed how it is disguised. Oh, quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Cut it in two. Oh, yes, yes. Mm, and share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Mm. Yum! Now, that's one red ripe strawberry, the big hungry bear. Mmm, we'll never get. <laughs> so, what did you think of that way of protecting the beautiful strawberry? And which types of fruits or vegetables are you looking forward to the most? Now that spring is bringing its promise of growth, I wonder. But for now, it's time to get to bed. So snuggle yourselves in tight. Have you got your favourite cuddly ready? Then close your eyes. Think of the most marvellous things, maybe gorgeous fruit and veg. You can. And then have magical dreams. And tomorrow is going to be another wonderful day. See you next time. Night night.